Good morning, friends, followers, my subscribers, my army of turbots and cultists. Thank you very much for joining me this morning on a Friday morning for my daily rant. Yes, but if you're watching this video right now, you've not yet subscribed. Why not? It's free. Right, people. It is Friday. Weekend is amongst us. I hope you're going to have a great weekend. What I am going to say is this. I have received quite a few emails over the last 24 hours about a YouTuber. Um, an American YouTuber. An American lady. Um, and I can't mention her name on here because it comes across like I'm weaponizing you to go and attack her. And I don't want to do that. But I did look at the channel. And that proved to me that YouTube has a two-tier policing system. Because many YouTubers that speak out about Harry and Meghan get restrictions. You can no, Subscribers seem to fall off our channels. We get invalid traffic. Every excuse YouTube can throw at us. Notifications turned off. People happen to resubscribe to your channel. Their monetization gets taken away. Many people get demonetized. And that's what YouTube do to those that don't support Harry and Meghan. It feels like there is employees at YouTube that are employed or being told to suppress channels which may have a reach. So if I'm reaching out and I'm ending up on the news, we need to suppress Trevor. If this channel's got 100,000 subscribers, we need to suppress him. All these different things happening. However, on the flip side, there is also channels out there dedicated, dedicated, to harassing the British royal family. One channel in particular run by a lady. The stories were the Prince of Wales is, is, is abusing the Princess of Wales. Photographs of bruises on her face. Divorce is imminent. I mean, it's fought, the marriage is falling apart. Sources say, I mean, these channels make up complete lies and they're allowed to get away with that. YouTube lets them get away with that. So is YouTube run by people that are Republicans that don't like the British royal family? And anyone that, that, that supports the British royal family seems to get a lot of trouble using their YouTube channel. I, I know I have. Uh, but whenever you learn to get past that and you just think, you know, I don't care what YouTube say anymore. I'm just going to be honest and authentic and have integrity. And if they don't like it, they don't like it. But I just wanted to point that out, that there is channels out there that make up lies, defamation, slander uh, about the British royal family. And it, it's shocking. I'm surprised that YouTube allowed that type of... allowed that type of entertainment on, on their channel. It's just crazy. Anyway, as I said, I wouldn't mention that YouTuber's name. I would be wrong to do that. So what else is happening? St. Patrick's Day. Yes, yeah, St. Patrick's Day is this Sunday. This Sunday, I'm a little bit surprised that a lot of my English cousins have been celebrating St. Patrick's Day at Cheltenham Racecourse at the weekend. It's the wrong weekend. Yes, but that's when they celebrated, Trevor. Well, it's wrong, isn't it? You say the Irish are thick and you're celebrating St. Patrick's Day a week before St. Patrick's Day. It's the 17th of March. It always has been. Just because you want it to fit around your little horse agenda to bring in more funds. You see that they're, they tried to bring in more funds. So they thought they would have, they thought they would have their St. Patrick's Day a week early. A bit pathetic, but there we go. Bit silly, bit silly in my, in my book. Yeah. But it is happening and Guinness, Guinness is a preferred drink on St. Patrick's Day. And I have a few statistics for you, for Guinness. Guinness is Guinness. But if you buy Guinness in Plymouth, it's 3.96 a pint. If you buy Guinness in Swansea, it's 4.5 a pint. If you buy Guinness in, what have I got here? Edinburgh, it's £5.37 a pint. And if you buy it in London, it's £5.73. London is the dearest place to buy a pint of Guinness. So don't buy it. Go to Tesco's, buy an 8-pack, buy a 10-pack, go home and do it. It's cheaper. Pubs are ripping you off. I know what you're going to say, but we need to keep them going. If pubs want punters to keep them going, then stop taking the piss out of the prices. Bring the prices down to where they should be. A pint of beer should not be over £5 a pint. That is shocking for any beer, for anything, over £5. I honestly think the right price for any beer should be 3 50 
That's my opinion. People will shoot me down, but that's my opinion. I mean, and if you want to charge by the hour, because you know, let, if you were to look at the prices and charge by the hour, say, I, I don't know, I think the, the average wage is about £14 an hour. Work that out in Guinness. It takes less than two minutes to pour a pint. And you're charging over £5 for a pint. It's just me having a rant about the Guinness. Uh, what else is happening? The Daily Mail. Yeah, the Daily Mail. Uh, it baffles me. When I, I look at the online stuff, I never look at the Sun because that's just, that, that's a garbage paper. That, that's like reading the Beano. It's like reading the Viz. It's just nonsense. But the Mail Online baffles me because they've got journalists and they throw things out. Now, I know about, uh, I, I, I've stopped supporting defence journalists. I used to throw my name in the hat quite a lot to support the things that they wanted to be highlighted. But now I don't because I've seen all the nonsense about the defence budget. We need more money. We need more money. You don't need money. You just need to stop wasting the money that you have. S stop with your vanity project. I've mentioned it several times. Not going to go on it again. So I don't support all these. See all this pressure that politicians are applying on journalists now to put out stories about you must say the MOD need more money. You must say it. When ordinary people know that they don't. They just need to stop wasting. That, that That's just my opinion. But what I have seen is that, um, listen to this. Uh, how can I get through a video not doing it? Meghan Markle has released her new brand of luxury shite on Instagram. Um, it's it's nonsense. Uh, it's it's quite it's beige. It's bland. It's a bit like her her personality. But here's the thing, people. See when you look at this. When Meghan Markle releases a new brand, because everything before has failed, 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 right? Listen, the one thing you cannot rebrand is your attitude. You can't rebrand it. You can't. People have seen you. They've seen that you are manipulative, narcissist, nasty. Eminem. Eminem, yeah. Anyway, we've seen that. It doesn't matter how nice your tops are, your kitchenware, or you make, it doesn't matter. People are going to buy it based on you. So now we see that anything you touch turns to shit. So the only people buying your stuff are anti-monarchs, anti anti-monarchists, anti-monarchists are gonna buy your stuff. And people that hate white privilege. So you're not selling a brand, you're selling an idea that people that support you don't support the other side. So anyone that hates the Prince and Princess of Wales or anyone that doesn't like the British royal family or the or UK is going to buy your stuff. So you're not buy, you're not selling a brand that's great. You're selling the fact that you've weaponized the Sussex cult. So that, that's just my opinion. So no one's gonna go, I'm gonna buy this because it's good. People that haven't even seen your products are gonna go, well, I support Megan, I'm gonna buy it anyway even if it's shite, which means your brand's going to fail again, again. Wow. It's like, it's, it's, it's desperate now, isn't it? It's like desperado. Anyway, but there we go. Yep. Yeah. Crazy. I don't do social media, but I have all these accounts and I'm going to rebrand. Great stuff. Anyway, listen. Does, does everyone remember Neighbours? Neighbours should be there for one another. Well, Neighbours. Holly Valance started off in Neighbours, then became a great pop star. Has actually come out and said that she is now voting for the Reform Party and she's going to support them during the next general election. Interesting, isn't it? Interesting. I sent, a, I sent a message not that long ago to the chairman of UKIP to see what's going on with that party and what direction they're going in. It's always nice to find out what direction people are going in and what's their plans. Yes. Yes. I'm sort of privileged that I can send an email straight to the top and find out what's going on. I like to keep in the know. I like to anyway. Well, Candace Owens. I seen a video of hers the other day where Candace Owens has done a video on her YouTube channel where she shows information and she shows things to say that the president of France... Macron married a biological man. And that's now hit the media where she's shown all these different things. Um, maybe it's a coincidence. I do not know if he married a man. 
apparently a spokesperson has come out and said, no, 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 we have proof that Emmanuel Macron married a, married a female. Weird. But there we go, people. There's a lot going on today. A lot going on. You know, it is a little bit crazy what's going on in the world, isn't it? And I have a video coming up later, which is going to blow your socks off. It certainly is. Where I bring up Mr. Dan Woodson. Mm. Well, listen, people, have a wonderful day and stay safe.